Hi everybody, welcome to this Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects tutorial and today we are going to create this very simple flat line envelope icon inside Adobe uh, Illustrator and then we are gonna put this icon into Adobe After Effects and boom we have this uh, very neat illustration and this thank you for watching this tutorial you can save or save as and for me it's letter for re uh, i prepared i have this file and i need to export it i have uh, opened my adobe after effects and here i want to create a new composition by clicking on this small icon here there is this icon I wanna size this uh, composition 90, 20 and 10, 80. Then I want to set the duration to 3 seconds and color to very light gray. So click OK. And now I want to resize a little bit window with my After Effects, grab my RE illustration and simply paste it on my comp uh, panel. And here I want to import as composition, not as footage. We have this folder and we open this folder and grab all of my all our Adobe Illustrator uh, files to my layers panel and here I want to reorder it of course first of all I want to set a letter on top of my top flap and uh, I want to my flaps sitting on top of all and of course I want to my outlines of my flaps sitting on top of all. So I prepared, I use Ctrl Shift left bracket and Ctrl uh, Shift right bracket to change the order. Then I want to select all of them, all of them and uh, click on this teeny icon here. Let me show you this uh, free space. Then I want to right mouse button click, click and uh, choose create shapes from vector layer. It's create our shapes Adobe After Effects. And now I want to delete all of my unnecessary IE files. And as you can see, our type is disappear and we need to grab our type tool in Adobe After Effects. And uh, thank you again. And here I need to uh, increase the size of this type and paste it like so. So we have our thank you in place. And then I want to a little bit decrease the size of my uh, letter. So I am now on select my letter panel and a little bit in uh, decrease the size. And next step I want to select my uh, layer with my type and grab this pick quick icon icon and holding left mouse button key drag to my letter so I parent my uh, type to my letter to this so if yeah I animate my letter this type is a repeat the pattern of my animation <clears throat> select your letter and now go uh, open your transform uh, options and go to the second second uh, two seconds i'm sorry go to two seconds and here on uh, your <coughs> two second click on this stopwatch of position it should be your final position and then return to your zero and work only with a second value that is comma separated from first value. This is a X uh, position. This is a Y position. We are going to uh, work only with Y position. And we need to increase this value like so. So we hide our letter. And we hide it here. Then I want to, of course, change the order of my type so it need to be hidden. I use Ctrl uh, left bracket to do that. And I want to select my keyframes from my 
letter and uh, change, uh, choose keyframe assistance and here I want to easy ease so I change how my uh, animation perform so next uh, what we need to do is to animate our top flap uh, select our top flap and here I want to open the transform value and set a first keyframe so set a first keyframe I want to drag my slider to the two second and this is will be our last step of our scale so click first of all only click on this small teeny icon here to unlink your width and height then click on the stopwatch scale and set a keyframe this is a our first keyframe and this is our last state of animation then i want to move the slider to one minute one second i'm sorry one second and here i want to first of all grab my paint behind this icon and then let me scale a little bit my composition and here i want to drag this focal point to the center of bottom path of my flap here and now i ready to continue my animation so select your scale and here i want to set zero as my scale value so it's completely disappear on my one second and on the zero seconds or on the start of my animation I want to minus 100 percent so it's a uh, return to closed state so we animated our uh, keyframes I only want to select all of my keyframes right mouse button click choose keyframe assistance and this is easy is to change the format of my animation then i want to select this top uh, flop layer and make a duplicate with ctrl c ctrl v and i want to set the duplicate on top using ctrl shift right bracket or command shift right bracket here on top and i want to open this and open the transformation as as you understand i don't need this last keyframe so i can simply select this keyframe with my selection tool and backspace to get rid of it so we have our animation now and uh, uh, for some of the reason i do not animate my letter something goes wrong oh i have one of the keyframe here but didn't have it here some some that uh, lose my animation on road I want to sit in like so then I want to grab my cells like here and I'm sorry for that but maybe I abuse my control Z a little bit more than I need so now we have this kind of animation but it still works not I want because first of all I want to get rid of this first keyframe on my uh, on my uh, bottom top flap as you understand my sixth layer from the bottom I want to get rid of it I don't need it like so so I now it's open and then it's operates like here well i do not this flap completely disappears in our animation so i want to adjust my flap animation so i want to uh, select both keyframes and uh, move it to the left on three frames like so around three maybe around to 26 frames here like so and preview my animation now and second it looks better 
And second, what I need to do, I want to select my letter layer, open this position and set the position to, to the top. I think it should be a little bit here. So I a little bit slow down my letter animation. So as you can see, now it looks like that. So let me preview. I can find my preview. So I go to Windows preview. Where is the preview? Here is it. So let me preview my animation and it works like a shell. So if you like this tutorial, do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe and uh, share it with your friends. Go to vitorials.net and download your next freebie, this animated icon. I want to thank you for following to the end and wish a nice day.